What's going on everybody, James here from Artificial Entertainment, and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at aim offsets, so let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so I have here a third person project that we're going to be working out of, and I have here the handgun aim idle, and this is going to be the base pose for our aim offset. Now, before we continue on, a couple of things I just want to note. First thing is, is that I was originally planning on making the aim offset and the upcoming damage video part of the multi-weapon system series, but realistically, these are standalone systems, so they're going to be standalone videos. However, there are going to be continuations to that series that are going to be coming out in the future. Now, the next thing is going is more related to the current project, and that's going to be we are in Unreal Engine 5.1, and uh, realistically, you are going to need a couple of things to be able to make this work. The first one is going to be that you're going to need the um, idle animation. And the second thing that I want to make sure you understand is that you don't just use aim offsets for where you can point your gun. You can use it for where you can point your head, where you can point a bunch of things. It's all about just adjusting rotation values based off of an input value. So you've got a lot of control in there, but we're going to keep it basic today. And we're just going to work on controlling on where our character is going to point that pistol. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the aim idle here and we're going to duplicate it and with uh, control D and we're going to go AO underscore as the name and move it into the AO file here. So this is just a blank folder here that I've just made um, and we're going to use this as again the base for all of our aim offsets. Now because we do need a bunch of directions but we also need a center we're just going to duplicate it really quickly hit end on our keyboard and just name it to AO underscore C. But we also are going to duplicate it again and open it up. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to look for spine one under the hierarchy and also stop the play and put it at frame zero. So make sure you do that first otherwise if you start playing in the timeline it changes the details panel so reset it back to spine one and you'll be all good. Now under the details panel here, under the rotation, you're gonna see a little icon here. Now this cycles between local and world space and by default, it's at local. But if we right, or sorry, left click this, it'll switch it to world space. Now watch what happens when we do this. So we're gonna go to the roll here, which is on the X value. We're just gonna click to highlight it, press end on our keyboard, and we're gonna go plus 90. Now as you can see that now it puts it in a direct 90 degree downward angle rather than this kind of angled area that it would have done otherwise if I tried to use the uh, Y value on the spine in local space. But now from here, all I can do is I can click on key and there we go. Now we have, if I uh, just go back to the side panel here and I can just go AO down and I'm going to duplicate the AO again. And this time we know that that one's down. So this next one's going to be up and we'll double click and open her up. And now if we click on spine again, if we don't close this window, you'll see the rotation is still set to world. It keeps the uh, settings that you set uh, that you select. So what we can do is we're going to go back to the X value here, go to the end. And this time we're going to go minus 90. And you can see it goes again straight back and up. Go up to key up here at the top and boom. Save that. There we go. So now we have center, down, up. We still need left and right though. So we're going to duplicate the AO underscore again and open up that duplicate, sticking with spine one and in world space. But this time we're going to go to the Z value, which is the blue icon or also the yaw. And if we go to the end by pressing end on the keyboard and we're going to go plus 90. And this time now we got that nice right direction. So if we key that position, save that, go back, F2 to rename, end on the keyboard to be able to get to the end of this uh of the uh, string here and then we go AO underscore R. Now from here we can just go AO underscore duplicate it again and we know this one's going to be L so we'll just go AO underscore L and then open her up. Go to the spine one keeping it in world going to the Z hitting end minus 90. Boom. Key that save that and there we go. So now we have our main directions but we want to make sure it's an eight way directional because it does provide the smoothest of AM offsets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the AO um, U for up and we're going to duplicate it and we're going to make sure we're still on spine one and we're going to go to the Z value on this one and we're going to go end plus 90. And again, we know that this is the right side. So we're just going to take that, save that and we're going to go AO underscore R or AO underscore U R and then just duplicate the AO underscore U again and do the exact same thing. So we'll go spine, and this time we're gonna go minus 90, key it at zero, and save. And this one's going to be AO underscore upper left. So now you kind of get the idea. We're just kind of duplicating the up and down directions and then adding to the Z value in world space for spine one. So we're gonna go end, then plus 90, 
key that, save that, and we know that this is down, right. Duplicate down again. Uh, this one we know is going to be down left, so we'll go ahead and open her up. Go to spine 1, go to the end, and minus 90. Key that, save that, and boom, now we have all 8 directionals for our aim offset. But there's one more step before we can actually use them inside of an aim offset, and it's very easy to do. We're just going to highlight all of them together, so if we take one and then shift select on the with the end here, we can right click, go to asset actions, and then we're going to bulk edit via property matrix. Now, as you can see here, we get a bunch of options here, but there's only one specific area that we're actually concerned with, which is additive settings. We want to make sure that the additive is set to mesh space. We want to make sure that the um, it's set to selected animation scaled. And then the base pose is actually going to be the handgun aim idle. So we're going to throw that in there under the base pose by I just highlight it here and then click on the little arrow here and it throws it in. So now we can just save all. Go back into our aim offset and we're going to right click, go to animation, and you'll see aim offset here as an option. And we're going to need to select our skeleton. And for me, I'm using the twin blast from the Paragon assets. And this is a handgun aim offset, so we'll go handgun underscore AO. And then we'll open this up. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is take the horizontal axes. The horizontal axes is going to be the yaw, because this is going to be the direction for left and right. And because we set up with the, uh, the aim offsets directions for 90 degrees, we're going to go negative 90 for minimum and 90 for maximum. Now you can set your AOs up with 45s, with whatever you want. I just would recommend that whatever you set up the animations for as far as a directional uh, or rotation value, I should say, you make sure you set this as well. So if you go 30, negative 30, the positive 30, you know, that's really the only difference I'm trying to make. Um, and if you set them up differently, I want something I do recommend sometimes is you can uh, set up your left and rights for 90, up and downs for 45. And if that be the case, when we get to this next one here, we're just going to name it yaw. And then you would set these instead of to negative 90 and positive 90, it would be negative 45, positive 45. But as you can see here, now we have this nice grid and we can just start dragging our animations in. So we got AO underscore C. So this is the center. Now we have AO underscore D for down, down left, down right. And then left and if you hold shift so like if you click on drag and then press shift it'll actually snap it to one of these lines here so it makes it very easy i'm gonna go up up left and up right now you can see we have a nice very smooth aim offset so we'll go ahead and save that but in order to be able to use this inside of our animation blueprint we do need to give it a uh, pitch and yaw value to go off of so what we're going to do is grab the as BP third person character or whatever your uh, character variable is. So this is inside of the animation blueprint. Doesn't matter what you have, if yours isn't set up like mine, generally you will always have this variable. And we're gonna pull off of it and get two different things. We're gonna get the active rotation and then we're also going to get the control rotation. Now this is something, I gotta give a shout out to Unreal Magic. Uh, this one was discovered by uh, them over there or him. I don't know if it's more than one person or not. Uh, but I was just going across videos. I like to see what other people are up to. And I came across this way to do it. And I've never looked back. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to pull off the active rotation. And we're going to type in delta. And we're going to get the delta rotator node. Because we want to get the delta between the active rotation and the control rotation. And this way we can right click, split this struct pin. And now we have pitch and yaw. So we're going to right click, promote both of these to a variable. And now we have our pitch and our yaw. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just kind of set these at the end. I'm setting this off of um, update animation, but where you have it in your update animation really doesn't matter. I'm just putting it at the end here just to show you guys. So we'll compile and save that. And then I'll go to my anim graph, base locomotion, and I'll go to my aiming state, which right now is consistent of just an aim idle, which I'll show you guys right now. Just you can see, I do have a pistol and I can aim it, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't follow any direction, right? It just kind of raises his arm, puts it back down. That's it but I want to be able to actually aim in a direction. So we're going to unhook this because we still need this. We just need something else with it. And we're going to search for the handgun AO. And we're going to drag this in and hook this up to the output pose. Take the handgun aim idle. So the aim idle that we used for the base pose um, here for the additive settings, same animation. And then for the pitch and yaw, we're going to take the pitch. Oh, it looks like I named them both yaw. Let me fix that. So horizontal should be pitch and vertical axes should be yaw. So again, horizontal pitch, vertical yaw, because I apparently messed that up. 
but my bad. <laughs> we'll uh, we got that fixed now, so we're gonna plug pitch into pitch, yaw into yaw, and then now instead of that static just aiming forward, if we click play now, draw my pistol. All right, so uh, the reason why it was reversed there for a second is because I I do this all the time. It's control rotation is A, actor rotation is B. If we compile and save now, play, grab my pistol, you see now it follows perfectly. For some reason, when you're using the control rotation delta um, and you have the actor rotation and it's A and it's getting the B of that, then it, it, it reverses everything. It's all backwards. Um, originally I was like, oh, well, maybe that's just the way it is. And I ended up doing a like multiply by negative one to reverse the value. Um, but come to find out it was just because of the way A and B were. That's all. So my bad guys. Um, but now that we have that set up, so we got again, horizontal axes, yawn, negative 90, 90, vertical axes is pitch, positive or negative 90, 90. And then we have all of our animations that we just created inside of here. Nice and smooth. And then we're going in able to now utilize them so and you can see the character moves exactly where the camera is with a little bit of minor difference at some moments it kind of uh turns his back in a little bit at certain corners but it actually lines up when you uh line your camera up and put crosshairs in it actually lines up really well i use this uh type of system a lot it's just again i always get those two backwards but that's going to close it out for today's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, you know, I apologize for being away for so long. We got videos coming out now that I'm back and back in full swing. So, so make sure to stick around, guys. And as always, stay animated.